gate crash for that ass. Let's do it! How the hell's everyone doing? Crazy week full of crazy shit. Woo! I'm just pumped to be back to the norm. Good old gate crash. Someone actually suggested I get one of these, but it was really ironic because I just purchased one like a day before they said that. And I'm like, dude, I already got one on the way, bro. Bro, it's on the way, man. It's in the hen's nest. It's coming, it's coming. This was 71 bucks, I think. 71, 72, something like that. Have any of you purchased any booster boxes recently? I'm not talking packs. Booster boxes. Scissors, get out of this shot. Not welcome. Jeez. So many intrusions. I got this and then a box of uh, 2015. Uh, no, was it tw what, what, 2013 core? Silly me. 2013 core, so that'll be fun to, to crack open. Let me get that focus in your face. There we go. Thespian stage. I'm not going to read every single card. I can, but I don't think I should. Very time consuming doing that. And no one likes watching a 40 minute repack video, you know? If there's something good, or at least if I think it's good or whatever, I'll, uh, I'll start uh, talking about her. Alms Bees. Creatures blocking or blocked by Alms Bees have a lifelink. That's kind of cool. No, that really sucks. That's really bad. That's really bad. What do you guys think is like one of the worst cards ever printed? Just curious. Like, what is the absolute worst card ever printed? I have a pretty good idea of what mine are. And uh, I'd like to know what the hell you think. Seriously. I really want to know. What do you guys think? No, go away, beast, you devil! Oh, I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. Everywhere I go, there he is. He never leaves me alone. Wrecking Ogre. Kind of reminds me of someone. It's weird. Boosh! There we go. Gridlocks. Civic Chum, Smog Elemental, Stomping Ground, all up in the face! Oh, that's nice. You know, I can't even splooge on this. You know why? Because I'm probably going to pull like three or four more. Because that's just how these boxes work. So, I can't get a little too crazy, but that is an awesome card to have right there. Also, it'd be nice to get a breeding pool, considering one of my patrons just snuck me for two of those. So, it would be pretty cool if I got a breeding pool up in here to replace that one. Whispering madness. You ever whisper to yourself? Just crazy thoughts? I bet this guy does. Holy shit. Look at that little skeleton in his ear. I want to get the foil of that. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Don't pay no attention to my sorting skills. Everyone knows they are freaking terrible. But I do what I can. I really wish I had someone uh, to like help me like sort shit because I have a lot of stuff. You guys don't want to see my desk; it's a mess. Target player loses one life, discards a card, then sacrifices a permanent. Cipher six. It's a big casting cost. Where's that foilage, man? Come on, no foils, guys. What gives? You ever had a box with no foils in it? I mean, when foils were a thing, you know? Or since foils have been a thing? I don't think they can do that. I don't think I would like that. That would be kind of crappy. Dying Wish. Lord of the Void. I just like demons. That's freaking sweet. Demons, angels, all that ugly and nasty shit you see on the cards. Lord of the Void. Flying. Whenever Lord of the Void deals combat damage to a player, exile the top seven cards of that player's library. Then put a creature card from among them out of the battlefield under your control. It's pretty legit. I take that right there. High casting cost, though. 
Does that anyone rock Lord of the Void in one of their decks? Have you ever played him? Skarg, Guildmage, Thrall, Parasite, Fiasio, I see some foilage, baby. Mystic Genesis, ah, Syndic of Tiths. Am I saying that right? Tiths? Is that, is that Tiths? Hey, Wilbur, we got Tiths over here. Not looking too friendly. Tiths. That sounds like something in the backwoods that you'd hear about. A Tith. Man, not a Tith, but man, I got a Tith with you. Tith. Whatever. Tiths. Tithiths. I don't know. <laughs> what else we gonna get? What else we gonna get? Come on, baby. Some nasty sauce. Nope, nothing. Frontline Medic. We'll take it. Whenever Frontline Medic and at least two other creatures attack, creatures you control are indestructible. This turn, sacrifice Frontline Medic, counter target spell with X and its mana cost unless it's controller base 3. Okay. Cool, cool. I like to read over some of the cards at least because I know a lot of you are new and uh, maybe you'll see something, you know, like a rare or whatever because I typically only read over the rares unless I know about an uncommon that's really good. I'll point it out. But, I mean, there's a lot of cards in Magic. Over like, what, 22, 23,000 different individual cards i believe correct me if i'm wrong someone give me the correct number go um boris reckoner he was so much better until he got reprinted to death when boris reckoner is, is dealt damage it deals that much damage to target creature or player uh for a mountain or plains boris reckoner gains first strike until end of turn it's a three three it's legit but yeah if you don't know a card you know, I'm going through these and you're new to the game. You obviously don't know many cards. And uh, I stop and, hey, I read this card. And you're like, whoa, that might work good in my deck. You know, that's kind of the reason I read them. So, Geyer Sage. Great card. Great card. Great card. Used it for quite a few times. It's got Evolve. Two to bring out. Uh, tap it. Add a forest to your mana pool for each plus one, plus one counter on Geyer Sage. Just think of how many things you can do and tricks with that card. Just throwing plus one, plus one counters on it and just ramping the shit ramping to shit what does that even mean ramping to shit so you go up the hill to find poo i don't know about that it's weird let's see what else we gonna get nimbus swimmer clan defiance nope choose one or more clan defiance deals x damage you target creature with flying clan defiance deals x damage to target creature without flying and or clan defiance deals x damage to target player is that focus working i am getting worried yes it's working good okay cool no foliage come on now i just want a shiner is that too much to ask Whatevs, Clevs. All right. Don't, don't, don't. Fire main Avenger. We got a red white angel. I want to make a red white angel deck, but there's not too many red angels. How many red angels are there? Can someone tell me? I don't know. I would assume maybe five to ten. I'm probably way off. Whenever uh, Fire Main Avenger and at least two other creatures attack, Fire Main Avenger deals three damage to target creature or player, and you gain three life. It's cool. That's pretty legit. Someone's on Google right now. How many red angels are there in Magic the Gathering? <laughs> That's fine, because I don't know the freaking answer, and I would have to go there to look it up myself, so. Or, like, a random uh, Magic website. Merciless Eviction. That's a, that's a cool card. Cool card because of the artwork. Not so much for its ability, but definitely uh, the artwork's pretty cool. Choose one, exile all artifacts, or exile all creatures, or exile all enchantments, or exile all planeswalkers. Actually, it's not really bad, depending on what your opponent's running. It's not too bad. Boosh! Clay defines in that face! That is sweet. That is sweet. Foil. Rare. Get a good look. Get a good look, boys and girls. Isn't she pretty? You're like, dude, that's like 25 cents. I'm like, I know, but it's cool. God. Hate is going hate, baby. Hate is going hate. I appreciate you guys and all your support and being fans of the channel. Definitely means a lot. Can't get enough of your love, babe. 
Diluvian Primordial. That is awesome. Diluvian. Diluvian. Flying with Diluvian Primordial. On the battlefield, for each opponent, you may cast up to one target instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard without paying its mana cost. If a card cast this way, would be put into a graveyard this turn. Exile instead. I feel like I should be seeing a lot more foils. Maybe I'm just used to opening, like, uh, bigger boxes. Like, uh, more pricey shit. I don't know. Not really. I haven't really opened too many pricey things lately, I guess. I do want to have a box of Masters. There's supposed to be uh, a 20... Uh, or original Modern Masters I was, I was planning on getting. Whispering Madness, yet again. But it did not end up happening. I made an offer, thought I was going to get it. I was almost positive I was going to get it. But then someone just used the Buy It Now feature. I'm like, you son of a bitch! And the rest of them were like a little too overpriced. So, And I have patience on eBay. I'll wait till something comes around and is a better price. And then I'll pick it up then. So That's how I roll. Hellkite Tyrant! Fuck you! Yeah. Love my freaking dragons. Creature, dragon, flying, trampled! That just sounds so brutal. Whenever Hellkite Tyrant deals combat damage to a player, gain control of all artifacts that player controls. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 20 or more artifacts, you win the game. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty nasty. Would you say that's nasty? That is some nastiness, I think. Just a fun little card. Like a fun little tree in the back of the woods. Minding its own business amongst all the other trees. Hanging out in the shade. What the hell are you talking about, dude? I don't know. Signal the clans. I thought we already got one of those. Like, 25 times. Boosh! Verdant Haven. Enchant land. When Verdant Haven is the battlefield, you gain two life. And it's foil! I dig it. Loving my foils. Loving. Loving you. Is easy cause you're beautiful. <laughs> that is the shit right there, in case you didn't know. Someone tell me, what is that from? Gruel, Rage Beast. A lot of green red up in here. Damn! Simic Manipulator. Second rare foil. Holy shit. That's sweet. Evolve whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control. If that creature has a greater power of toughness than this creature, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. Tap it. Remove one or more plus one plus one counters from Simic Manipulator. Gain control of target creature with power less than or equal to the number of plus one plus one counters removed this way. That's sweet. And that artwork. That artwork's freaking nasty too. Juicy, juicy. I dig it. That is really cool. Damn, two rare foils. I mean... I've heard like a rare and a mythic in a box, but I mean, that might be the second time I've pulled two rare foils in a box. Oh my god, I see another foil. I'm getting so excited, I think we found them! Guys, we have found the foils. They were all hiding in the back. Whoops, I got two swords a little bit. Okay. They were, whoa, shit, just dropped everything. You're like, he's swapping shit out right now. No, I'm not. Night Veiler Spectre and Mortis Strider. Oh, that's cool. Look at that skeletonial stuff. When Mortis Strider dies, return it to its owner's hand. That card sucks. I mean, if its casting cost was one or something, or maybe two even, but a freaking swamp and an island and a colorless, what do you guys think? Is that some bad shit right there? I don't know, you gotta let me know. I don't, I don't dig it. And Night Vale Spectre. I don't dig that. Syndic of Tiths. I didn't say that. I said Tiths. Sounds like that. Good card. Dig it. Target creature gains life until end of turn. Whenever you gain life this turn, each opponent loses that much life. There was a game. What was it? Uh, an app called uh, Magic 2015. I'm pretty sure Watsy created it. Master Biomancer Elf Wizard Mythic. That's cool. Um... Uh, each other creature you control enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one with, with a number of plus, additional plus one plus one counters on it equal to Master Biomancer's power and as a mutant in addition to its other types. I do have extreme ADHD, so, you know. But um, anyway, this card right here, 
I made a, a, quite a few decks uh, involving him on the, the game 2015 uh, Magic. I think that's what it is. It might be 2016 Magic. Uh, it's an app, though, on like your phone, whatever. But I did play a lot on there versus other people online. It was a lot of fun. I had good times. That's actually the reason I got back into Magic was because of that app. Little did you know, that's how it happened. And then I showed my friend that introduced me to the game, the app. And the next thing you know, he's asking me if I want to verse him. And then we start versing each other on the app. And then I'm like, dude, like, let's bust out our cards and sit down and play and have some fun. And next thing you know, we're doing it. So and there you have it. Gift of Orzova, Cartel, Aristocrat, Five Alarm Fire. Not going to go over everything here. Not going to go over everything. So yeah, shit happens like that. Pretty cool. If any of you uh, left the game of Magic and returned... And I'm not talking about like for a month or two, you know, like for a couple years or at least a couple years. Oosh, damn, we are getting mythics up the arrows up in here. Damn. Aurelia, the war leader. And a cinder elemental. That is fucking sweet. Look at that. I dig that. Cinder elemental. And I don't, I don't have that foil yet. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. Aurelia, the war leader. I think his cards go up in price recently. Flying vigilance. Haste. Whenever Aurelia, the war leader, attacks for the first time each turn, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. That could be brutal if used correctly. Do any of you bust out the war leader in games? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, what was I talking about before craziness happened there? Um, I don't know. See, brain farts, man. ADHD sucks. All right. Uh-oh, I see some shiny, baby. I see some shiny. Murder Investigation, Fortress Cyclops, Rubble Belt Raiders. And whenever Rubble Belt Raiders attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it for each attacking creature you control. Boosh! Simic Key Ruin. That's cool. Artifact foils are always welcome in this house. Know what I mean? Still don't know what the hell it's talking about. Um, oh yeah, if you left Magic for a while and then came back, uh, what brought you back into it? I'd like to know about that. And if you're new to the game... Uh, what brought you into magic as well? For all you vets out there, dude, I don't really care. I'm just, oh my god, I'm kidding. Calm down, guys. Stolen identity. Oh shit, I know a little bit about that. Put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of target artifact or creature. What cipher? This is looking like a decent box. I thought I'd get more of the, uh, uh, lands. Apparently that's not the case. But we got more mythics. It's like, uh, Watsy balances it. They're like, you know what? You might not have gotten many, many awesome rares, but we're going to give you a bunch of mythics. Some might be completely worthless, but we'll give them to you. It's kind of like how it goes on. I don't know. Assemble the Legion. Not reading it. Not reading it. Not once. Never, ever, 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 never. No new taxes. Read my lips. I don't know. <laughs> Consuming Aberration. Not bad. Consuming Aberration's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your opponent's graveyard. Whenever you cast a spell, each opponent reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a land card. Then puts those cards into his or her graveyard. Dang, Kingpin's Pat. I dig it. Nice foilage. Get a little, get a little, get a little bit of that slow roll. Ooh, get a little bit of that slow roll. Ooh. There we go. Play it, play it. Oh, no, I'm not going to sing Spongebob. Oh, I almost did. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Spongebob Square. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I don't know why, but as an adult, I, I totally watched that. I don't know, I'm weird. Just saying. Just saying. All right. And also, if this is, if I'm the reason you started playing Magic or got Back into magic? Definitely let me know about that. Because I think that's really cool. That's probably the coolest shit. Bam! Another mythic! Oh, for the face! <laughs> oh my god, I love pulling mythics. Mythics, rare foils, mythic foils, anything foil. If it's shiny, I love it. Ah, oh, I gotta look excited. Hoping there was something else. Noopsie doodle. 
Uh, it's got Hexproof, Legendary Creature, Shapeshifter. Whenever a creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, you may have Lazav, I'm going to butcher this, Demir, <laughs> Mastermind, become a copy of that card, except its name is still Lazav, 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 Demir, Mastermind. It's legendary in addition to its other types, and it gains Hexproof and this ability. Cool. Definitely busting out Mythics. I don't even know how many Mythics I'm up to. I think that's four? I could be wrong, but I doubt it. But you never know. Mad gap skills. Russ Scarab. Scarab, Scarab, Scarab. Spark Trooper. That card I don't like. I don't know why. I don't, I don't, I just, I just don't like it. I don't know. That's just me. I did, I, I, pfft, whatever. I just don't like it. Reminds me of something I don't like. There's probably a lot of people out there that think that of me. They're like, oh my god, this guy sucks. So annoying. Stupid. Why does he talk? Sylvan Primordial. Sylvan, what do you do? Creature Avatar. Avatar. Reach. Is that focus on? There we go. Sorry. Uh, when Sylvan Primordial enters the battlefield for each opponent, destroy target non creature permanent that player controls for each permanent destroyed this way. Search your library for a forest card and put that card under the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. Well, that's legit. Everything's legit. MC Hammer said so. That's how you know it's legit. Alpha Authority! Or is Hav Kirun? Okay, I'm like, where'd it go? Blind Obedience. Extort. Artifacts and creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. So they basically enter the battlefield bent over. That's kind of a plus, you know? Dig that. I can dig it. Digga, 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 digga. All right. We got like five packs to go. What are we gonna get? Let's get something fun. Let's give them something to talk about. Boosh! Angelic Skirmisher. Angels are sweet. I love pulling angels. Flying at the beginning of each combat, choose first strike, vigilance, or lifeline creatures you control. Gain that ability until end of turn. It's not weird or nothing. During Skyjack. Get into the good stuff. This will be Mark for Death. Inclusion Specialist. Illuminate Primordial. I think I pulled all the Primordials. I think these avatars are supposed to be a bigger deal, and there's not. When Illuminate Primordial enters the battlefield for each opponent, exile up to one target creature that player controls, and that player gains life equal to its power. That sucks! No wonder it's not getting played. Holy shit. <sighs> Gate Crash, you went wrong somewhere, man. I mean, there's some there's some decent cards in here. Mostly the Shocklands, but... I don't know about this other shit, man. Pretty brutal to look at. Mind Grind. That's brutal, not reading it. Did I already pull one of those? Feel like I'm getting stiffed. Just kidding. I got mythics, and mythics are awesome. I got mythics for days, man. Down to two packs. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Then roll a horror, and a key rune. Sylvan Primordial again. Another avatar. We got every avatar there is in this box, and there's nothing you can do to take them away from me. They're all gonna be right here because they're two dollars of value. Come on, Dan. A crazy wild world. Wah! Whose ears are bleeding? You know what? That actually just gave me a headache. I'm not kidding. That gave me a headache. <laughs> not joking. That gave me a headache. Do you realize I even upset myself sometimes? Boris Charm! Nasty! Did you dig it? Either eyes, go to but What the? F <sighs> Spark Trooper, I was just talking mad things about you, and there you are again. Never to leave my side, huh? All right, guys. Well, what do you think of the box? I had fun. Hope you guys had fun. I plan to open a bunch of more crazy off-the-wall bunk of shit coming up very soon. So keep your eyes out and peeled for that. And again, thank you, everyone, for your support. Just want to give a shout-out to Jonathan Wolf, Victor's Smirnovs. If I say anything wrong, forgive me. 
Tristan Allen, Thomas Smith, Robert J. Bond, Eric Fuhrman, AJ Alvarado, Sam Winters, Dustin Bates, Frank Airy, Ethan Messner, Aaron Payne, and Nick. Shoutouts to all you players out there. Much love. As always, guys. Peace, love, and anal. <laughs>